When it comes to buying a tablet, you cannot beat the iPad. Starting at just $329, no tablet can deliver the performance, display technology, and app availability like Apple's very own. And whether you're jumping for that entry-level model or going all-in on the future of computing with the iPad Pro, split-screen multitasking is something you have to know how to do. Since evolving into iPad OS, multitasking on the iPad has gotten pretty complex, and there are a few methods for multitasking worth knowing. The first, split screen, is its most basic. Just open an app on your iPad, for this example, let's say Safari. Then swipe up from the bottom of your iPad's display to open the dock. You can choose from any of your docked icons here, and if you have your recents enabled, they'll also display to the right of the dock. Tap and hold your finger on the icon for a moment, then drag it to the left or right side of the screen. With your two apps open on your iPad, you can drag the bar in the middle left or right to make one window larger than the other. If you open the app switcher, these two apps will also stay paired together. To close one of the apps, just grab the middle bar for your selected app, then drag it to the side of the screen until it disappears. Multitasking doesn't stop there though. You can actually have up to three apps open on your iPad if your third app supports slide over. To open an app and slide over, start by opening two apps in split screen mode. Once your apps are open, select the one you want to move to slide over, then look for the small bar along the top of the screen. Drag the app down until it pops out of the window, then release your finger. You can move this app between the left and right side of your screen by dragging it with your finger. And now that you have an app open in slide over, you can actually open a new app in split screen view, bringing your multitasking to a whole new level. Your slide over app will move off screen when not in use, but you can bring it back into view just by sliding your finger along the edge of the screen. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering tablets and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.